and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop. And welcome to issue number 33 of Build the Legendary Cyborg Robocop from our wonderful friends over at Fan Home. Now, if you'd like to grab this for yourself and build along with me, head over to this link all the way along there. The link is also in the description below this video. Head over to the Fan Home website and take out a subscription for this beautiful one-third scale, one-third scale model, two-foot tall folk, of Robocop goodness. Box office and videotape. VHS takes over from cinemas. <laughs> it's making me feel old now. It says, in Hollywood, people often look to purely economical data to decree whether or not something is a success. Robocop 2 unperformed at the box office. However, closer look reveals that the film was not only highly profitable in new channels of distribution, but it also succeeded in creating a lesion of new fans and devotees of the genre. It became quite a cult film, didn't it? And obviously the videotape came along, and uh, as we all know, yes. And of course now you can get them on DVD uh, as well, and Blu-ray all the different uh, director's cuts and all of that lot. It says, in the shootout sequences, there is a succession of scenes of thugs being mowed down by Robocop. Some film, cr film critics focused on the extreme violence in Robocop 2. It kind of changed, didn't it? Did get a little bit of a, a gore fest in the second one, but that was the the dystopian world they lived in, so they told the story. Today we're going to be building the right calf, section two, so we're going to need the leg that we've been assembling, so grab that folks, and there's a list of the parts there, out half of the calf, and you've got an inner ankle plate. That's where it's going to go on your model, and we'll be securing this post in place as well folks, okay? It tells you there to pop it, spin it round ready, and then it mounts to one half of the leg that then joins to the other half. So, so yeah, a little bit of jiggery pokery today, but it should all come together. Also, it gives you another leg so you can do robo walk, fadung, 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 across the bench. Global Hawk, drone watching from bird's eye views. These drones, they're really a thing now. Unmanned aerial vehicles. UAVs basically, but yeah, the technology has really come on now. And it's quite spooky to know that at any time they're flying around up there. Dog cloning is another one, not so identical copies where they're cloning different animals. Remember Dolly the sheep and things like that that were clones. So they take the DNA from an existing dog and replicate it and. Uh, Another one comes along. Very clever technology. All the different bits and pieces of way on how it's done. Clones of other species. Cloned piglets, etc. Uh, it's heavily regulated, folks, as well, the cloning process, because, yeah, I don't think we'll ever see human clones, to be honest with you. I don't know. It's a scary thought, though. Right, let's grab our bits and bobs, and when we come back, we'll be doing some assembly, okay? Right, we've got our leg from the previous issue now. So it's telling us we need to spin that around and get that ready to mount into the other section of the leg. So I'm just going to pop this little part off here. It does tend to ping out. And then spin that round like so. Spin your other part of the leg round that way so that it's laying beside it. And then line this up as best you can without putting too much stress on it. And you want to line it up so that these parts here go over the two pegs. Okay. You then want to secure them with two BM screws. And then we're going to use a bit of oil because we are going into die cast now. Okay. So we'll get the oiler out. 
little drop of oil on the end of that and then we'll secure that in place. There you go. And the oil just helps that go straight in. Almost lubricates the thread as it's cutting its way through the paint. Okay. We'll do the same with the other screw. Let me start joining robo leg together then, folks. There you go. Then we'll do the same. Pop that in that top hole there. And screw that fully home. Just like that. Okay. Check the fit. No wobbles. And then we can now hinge this round. Almost like a door hinge, folks. Okay, and then we can start wrestling or wrestling, maneuvering this in place. Just like so. Once you get the big lug in, the leg itself should start gently squeezing together like so. Okay. Ah, oh, they've left one of their stones in there from when they was cleaning it. And they was polishing the metal. Look, it's a little polished stone. Ah, oh, it's a nice little keepsake. I know what that was. Rattling away there. Right. So that's in place. We've got a couple of locating pegs just to press into place. One at the top there. There you go. And that's that leg fully in now. Cool. Just make sure that everything moves as it should. Lovely job there. Right. Let's now secure that in place with two EM screws going into die cast again. So we'll have a bit of oil on them. There you go. You want to go all the way in there. Like that. Right. right in that ankle joint there is where it wants to go. And that should pull that in nicely now. Like so. Yeah, there you go, that's better. And that's articulating nicely now. All the way around there. Happy days. So let's just check the tightness of that. There you go. So that's in place. We then want to close that off with this little closing panel. Let's just remove that nub. There you go. And then you've got this little closing panel that just dresses off the lower part of that leg, folks. Just makes that look a bit nicer. Okay. And that is another lower leg finished. Look at that. And that. And then going forward, we'll have closing panels going down the front. And we'll be getting ready then. To get the rest of the leg built folks so that's where we're going to leave today's so if you'd like to grab this for yourself and build along with me head over to this link here head over to the fan home website and take out a subscription for this beautiful beautiful one-third scale robocop won't be disappointed until the next issue folks stay safe and well Remember, hit that subscribe button to help me grow my channel. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.